Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope that you are all keeping well. So in today's video I have this beautiful spring teal acrylic design to share with you guys and I absolutely loved how these turned out so I hope you guys enjoy watching. I'm working on my Glamalis practice hand and I've already applied some tips and a clear base so we're ready to go straight in with the design. So to start off with I'm coming in with a CJP Lagoon and I'm placing this down at the cuticle area getting a nice neat cuticle and then just dragging the colour down the nail. I just want a wash of colour mainly down at that cuticle area because I'm going to be doing a marble on this nail. And I'm then going to come in with wet beads of my colours. So I'm using Lagoon, Perfect Peach and Sapphire which are all from CJP. So as you can see I've placed them down quite wet and then I'm just bringing my brush to a point and running through those colours and then just neatening it up ever so slightly. I'm not worried about taking the marble all the way down to that cuticle area because I'm going to apply some glitter there and I didn't want a too bulky cuticle. So then I'm coming in again with Lagoon, Sapphire and then Perfect Peach. So I've changed the colours around a little bit this time just so you see a little bit more of that peach in the marble. And then again just swirling through them. And then I'm just taking my brush and cleaning up the side walls slightly. Not messing around with the marble too much because I'm quite happy with how all the lines and the colours are defined. So I'm not going to mess about with it because then they'll just merge together. And then I'm coming in with this beautiful glitter mix. This one is from Smiley's Glitter Store and I believe it's called Champagne Spritz. So I've just picked that up with a wet bead of clear acrylic and I'm just nudging it around at that cuticle area. It's quite a multi-cut mix but there are some chunkier pieces in there and I didn't want too much glitter in this nail. So I'm just tapping on the more finer pieces. And then I'm doing pretty much the same at the tip of the nail. So a tiny bead of clear acrylic, dipping into that raw glitter and then just nudging it around, taking out those chunky bits like I said. And then I'm just keeping my brush full of Monomart so it's nice and wet and that I can just move around that glitter into place without it all sticking into my brush. And then down the centre of my marble, I'm just going to place on two of these gorgeous gold butterflies. I believe these are from Glitter Stella, but I will double check and as always leave all the products I use in the description box below. So I've just placed them down into place, allowed them to dry and then I'm going to come in and encapsulate the entire nail. So I usually do all my encapsulating at the end. However, today I just sort of felt like doing it as I was going along with certain nails. So I'm just capping the entire nail in CJP crystal glass. And for this nail, I only needed a thin encapsulation layer because I built up most of my nail with my marble and the colours I used in my marble are all CJP strength powders. So the strength is already there in the nail. I'm more encapsulating just to protect that glitter and the butterflies from filing and just to add a little bit more of an apex. Working slightly wetter when I'm capping just so the acrylic moves better and you get less air bubbles. Then moving on to the middle nail, I'm just doing a thin layer of CJP Perfect Peach. So this is just going to be a background for my water decals. I don't want to add any bulk because I'm going to be encapsulating the decals. So I'm just putting a thin layer down for the colour. I love this colour. It's one of my favourite peachy nudes from CJP, but it is a little bit trickier to work with because it's so highly pigmented. So I did find it a little bit easier to actually paint on. And when I'm placing my cuticle bead down, I'm just tilting that nail down so that the product flows away from the cuticle and then tapping it up into place. Mm. And then I'm going to leave this acrylic to set before I apply my decals. So we're going to move on to the ring finger. So the ring finger is a full now of that lagoon colour because I thought it was absolutely beautiful so deserved a whole now to itself. So lagoon from CJP is a strength powder so you can build up your apex and structure with this. However whenever I'm using my colours I always seem to prefer to paint them on and encapsulate them anyway. Sometimes it depends on the mood I'm in but 90% of the time I will just paint them on and then cap them. But this is down to personal preference so do whatever works best for you. But as you can see, I'm just layering on that colour, building it up until I'm happy with the coverage. And then I move on to the little finger. 
I honestly love this colour so much. It's got to be one of my favourites from CJP at the moment. It's another one of those colours that I've had in my kit for quite a while and not got around to using it. But I'm definitely feeling a teal set on myself now. Now we've jumped to the little finger and unfortunately I had to pause recording to go off and see to my little girl and then when I come back to doing the nails I forgot to hit play but all I'd basically done is put a wash of colour down at the cuticle area and built the colour up at the free edge simply because I'm going to be doing a glitter fade but I wanted there to be a little bit of the glagoon behind that glitter. So now I'm coming in and applying the glitter so again it's the same mix from Smiley's and I've just picked that up with my crystal glass and now I'm placing it down at the nail bed and fading it down the nail. Here I'm just tapping on more glitter without adding any extra acrylic, just so I can build up the coverage a little bit, keeping my brush full of Monomart again so I can move those chunkier pieces around without them all sticking to my brush. And once I'm happy with how the fade is, I'm going to come in and apply a couple of those butterflies over the top as well. I felt like this glitter went beautifully with this teal colour. I was going to use a gold glitter first of all, you know, like a more yellow gold. And I just, I was looking at it and I was like, hmm. And then I was going through all of my glitters and I come across this one. I haven't used it in a while. And it's called champagne rather than gold. And I felt like it just was a match made in heaven for the teal. So I'm not applying any extra acrylic when I'm applying down these butterflies because my acrylic has not long been laid so it is still slightly tacky so it will just hold those butterflies in place until I cap. And then off camera I did cap this nail and now I'm ready to come in with my decals on the perfect peach nail. Now I'm not 100% sure where these decals are from as I've had them in my kit for a very long time however you can pick decals up everywhere now. So I've removed that clear protective layer, cut out my decals and placed them in some room temperature water for around 10 to 15 seconds and then they slide easily off that backing paper and you can apply them to the nail. Now because I was using quite a few decals on the nail and because they were quite large this is why I wanted to have a go at encapsulating them because sometimes I feel like when you're applying decals over the apex of an acrylic nail they just don't always lie flat, especially some of the cheaper ones. And I believe these probably were cheaper ones from eBay or AliExpress because I bought them so long ago. So yeah, I just thought working over a thin layer of acrylic, you haven't got your apex built up yet. So they just apply a little bit easier. And what I love about water decals is you get plenty of playtime with them. So you can faff about with a design as much as you like for quite a while anyway, before they start drying and sitting in place and getting a little bit more difficult to move. But yeah, they're great for beginner nail art because you do get plenty of playtime with them. As you'll see in a minute, after I apply my flower, I apply down another leaf and then I'm not really happy of how it's placed. So I end up removing it and turning it around and faffing about with it until I feel as though it looks appealing to the eye. So as you see, you're just very easily able to slide and nudge them around or completely take them off the nail if you prefer. And I thought it looked much better that way around. So then what I did was just dabbed over them with a sponge to remove any of that excess water. And then I'm applying a layer of top coat just to seal and protect them from the monomer. Sometimes when working with cheaper water decals, you'll find that they're not chemical resistant so when you apply your bead of clear acrylic and your monomer your brush story is wet with monomer it kind of breaks down the water decals so I've just applied that thin layer of top coat to protect them and then I also thought I would tap on two of the butterflies into that wet top coat as well and then I popped it in my LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds And then I'm going to come in and encapsulate the nails the same as always. So I'm applying my acrylic, blending out the back of that bead and then walking it down to the free edge, just tapping it into place, trying to get my application as neat and as even as possible so that there's minimal finish filing to do. And I usually do my encapsulating for this length nails in three to four beads. I try to do three to cover the nail and then if I need to come in with a fourth to build up that apex I can.
So the same again, whenever I'm applying my cuticle bead, I tilt that finger down so that none of the product runs back and floods the cuticle area. Then I did end up coming in with one or two more beads of acrylic just because I felt as though I hadn't built up the thickness of enough for this nail and I didn't want to file into those butterflies or be left with a too thin nail. Obviously it's on my practice hand so structure isn't important but if you were doing it on yourself you want to make sure that you have got that structure built up because you're going to more than likely snap the nail if it's too thin anyway. And then went off camera, encapsulated the ring finger and done all of my filing, buffed them with a white buffing block and I just wiped over the ring finger with some alcohol just so that it was definitely free of dust ready to come in with my jewellery gel for my crystals. So I'm just applying a thin layer of that jewellery gel to the entire nail. And then whilst that's still wet, I will come in over the top with my CJP Tack Free Top Gloss and apply a thin layer of this. And I'll then leave that gel mixture uncured, ready to set my crystals down. I just run my fingers down the sides of the nail because the jewellery gel is quite thick and I don't want it to pull and sort of ruin the shape of the nail so I just rub any of the excess off and I'm then going to come in and pop my crystals on. Now I didn't have a crystal placement in mind because originally I wasn't going to do any crystals on this nail, I was just going to leave it plain but then I felt like it looked kind of out of place plain especially because it was the ring finger. So I decided to come in and add some crystals but I just didn't really know what I was doing in. so I was just faffing around with the placement this is what I love about jewelry gel you can apply crystals and take them off and move them around until you are happy with how they are then you just pop them into cure so I'm using the white opal crystals are from CJP and then the horse size and the ABs I believe both of them are from the crystal studio so then I'll just let you guys watch me place the crystals down and then I'll pop back in a mo. And then once I finished faffing around with those, I popped them in my LED lamp to cure for 120 seconds. So a double cure just to make sure the LED light has got all around those crystals and cured the gel. And I'm then going to come in and top coat the rest of the nails. So I'm top coating with my CJP tack free top gloss, just applying a nice even layer to all of the nails. And I'll then pop them in for a 60 second cure. And then guys, that is pretty much the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching as I absolutely loved doing this set. If you did enjoy it, then please give the video a thumbs up or let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you're watching and you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you hit subscribe. As always, I've left a clip at the end of what the finished result looked like as well as a picture for you guys to check out. So I shall see you all again very, very soon in the next video. Lots of love. Bye bye.